Dirt is one of a bearing's worst enemies, so before you start, it is important to work in a dirt-free area using clean, elastomeric gloves and lint-free towels. When lubricating new bearings with Crytox grease, it is also essential to clean the parts completely. If you don't, you risk reducing the part's life by 50% or more. Whether the bearing is new or not, deposits or coatings may be present that may accelerate failure. Be sure to clean off all existing greases, oils, or preservative oils. Care should be taken to prevent the prying tool from coming in contact with any race pathway, the cage, or the rolling elements of the bearing and should be accomplished on the non-sliding edge of the seal. When selecting a solvent, use one that dissolves or breaks down the particular type of lubricant or coating in the bearing. Avoid chlorinated solvents, which leave residue that can cause premature failure when combined with PFPE oils. Agitate the part in a sonicator bath or pump the cleaning fluid through the bearing in a parts washer. Do not allow the solvent to get too contaminated as it not only impacts cleaning effectiveness, but will also leave an oily residue or contaminant on the bearing. Rinse the bearing in biodegradable aqueous degreaser. Then dry the part by circulating warm air through the bearing or by heating it to approximately 90 degrees C for 10 minutes. After drying, cool at room temperature, ensuring the metal is completely dry of solvents. Instead of an aqueous degreaser or to speed drying, use a high volatility solvent for a final rinse to ensure the part is completely clean. It is important to use caution when using these flammable solvents. To prevent corrosion when stored, immediately lubricate the bearing or dip in Crytox ACW. Using Crytox ACW will help prevent corrosion if the bearing is to be stored for an extended period before lubrication. When repacking, lubricate the bearing with the specified grease. For some applications, the rolling elements may be pre-lubricated with a few drops of Crytox oil of the same viscosity as the base oil in the grease. Next, weigh the bearing and use a clean syringe of Crytox lubricant. If you are filling the bearing by volume, remember that the density of Crytox grease is about 2 grams per mil, or about twice the density of common hydrocarbon-based greases. Then inject grease onto the outer race between the rolling elements and repeat on the other side of the bearing. When completed, rotate the bearing slowly by hand to spread and distribute the lubricant. Apply enough thrust by hand to cause the rolling elements to rotate. Weigh the bearing again to ensure the proper weight. Grease fills can range from about 15 to 80 percent depending upon the application. To avoid causing damage or premature leaking, carefully replace the seals. Metallic shields cannot be reused and this shielded type of bearing can only be re-lubricated if you have a supply of new shields and the tool to set the shields into the bearing. Proper lubrication is achieved by using the correct amount of grease. Too little grease in a bearing will cause premature failure. Too much grease in the initial fill or during re-lubrication can cause overheating of the bearing running at medium to high speed. To avoid failure, determine the proper amount of grease. Since Crytox grease is heavier than hydrocarbon lubricants, its higher density must be considered when determining the fill quantity by weight. Consult your bearing manufacturer for determining the proper grease volume or weight for the application and operating speed. For extreme conditions and extreme performance, Crytox oils and greases are available in a variety of formulations to fit application requirements. Being extremely versatile, Crytox lubricants help bearings run longer and wear less in the most extreme conditions extending component life and reducing overall operating costs.